right, so here's a before and after. That's the difference of uh, 50 pounds. So going into uh, on how to fast, obviously you have to break your tongue um, before you can actually get to a point where you are doing any sort of fasting ability where you're not craving the taste of anything. And, you're, and, and you feel nice and chill and mellow, and you're able to fast for longer than a day. This usually takes some building up to, can take a week or two weeks, um, depends on how good you are at skipping meals and maintaining a stable low blood sugar, and tapping into those fat stores. But a big one for me, because I can get, I can go two or three days without a meal. Um, and not necessarily feeling any hunger. And there, there is a benefit to it, but there's also a, a con to getting really good at fasting is the fact that you have to go back to revamping your metabolism. Once you start fasting for multiple days on end, you have to refeed with lean protein just to wake up the digestive system, maybe some bone broth as well. And, um, you need your B vitamins. I take nutritional yeast flakes, but typically how long to run that long of a fast or a deficit would be, I like to fast for the last three weeks of a month and the first seven days of a month, I'll typically fast pretty heavily for. And I do it because I like to just shock the metabolism, get everything dumping toxins, and, and using it's, it's waking up its systems, but you have to keep the metabolism for like workouts and running and all of those things. You have to wake that up because otherwise the metabolism will begin to compress and shrink because it's no longer getting in calories. So it'll start to, you'll become less metabolically active. You'll have less energy. You'll work out less. Your workouts would be garbage. And that's where you want to Press into it a little bit, but then back off and start eating again. And you always want to end a caloric deficit and begin exercising on calories for one to two weeks before you do another intense bout of fasting. At least a week or two or three weeks before you do another solid two or three day fast, if you can do it that long. Because... You don't want to completely crush your metabolism and you also don't want to overeat once you reintroduce the eating. So this is just something that works for me. A lot of people can't do this, um, but it does work as a great tool in my toolbox is to be able to skip meals, obviously regularly on the daily, usually eat one meal, maybe two meals. It just works so much better. You're not constantly, constantly eating, spiking the blood sugar, having to live meal to meal. You don't have to purchase fast food, easier on the budget, that part of it's great. But then also I'm able to just, boom, we're going to go, we're going to go three days, no food, boom. And then you get mental cognitive clarity, especially for like testing and having to do things that are um, demanding on the brain. It's great for having that as a tool because you can really clean up your own cognition quite well. All right. Um, that's kind of how I utilize fasting and I use it pretty frequently, um, but I don't use it to destroy my metabolism as I have in the past. I, I wake it back up with calories and, and just crank in a, a lot of exercise just to get it, wake it back up. Okay. So one thing you want to be careful of, don't put your metabolism out the window. All right, peace.